Shivet Israel. And the reason why she has an oxygen, or what that is on her face is an oxygen mask. The reason why she has it on her face is because she's about to have um, surgery. Surgery for friends' condition of the great artist. Electrocardiograms, 
is shown, which means it uses, um, it bounces sounds off the heart to try to measure it and give you a visual picture of it moving. And the electrocardiogram um, measures the electric responses coming from the heart. And the chest x-ray, um, it, they can give you a moving picture of the heart, but it gives you, it shows you the size of the heart and the position of the pulmonary and artery and the aorta. And um, unfortunately, I could not finish my presentation. So, but um, one, also some other slap, um, the only way for a baby to have the, the TGA corrected is to have, have correct surgery within the first month of life because otherwise the baby, the TB is fatal and the baby will die. So, um, in 1963, Dr. William Mustard uh, developed the Mustard procedure and um, what that is is um, but they use a baffle, which is like an artificial tube, to redirect oxygenated blood coming in from the inferior and superior vena cava to the left ventricle, or no, to the right ventricle, so that the oxygenated blood could be um, pumped to the rest of the body. And he developed this in the hospital for sick children in Toronto, Canada. And it totally corrects TGA. And um, here is a picture of it. So this is the, this green part is the back part. And we it And now what they use is, um, that was replaced by the arterial switch. Oh, that is called, another word for this is the atrial switch procedure. And now what they use is the arterial switch, mostly. And this, this um, procedure improved the, uh, 80% mortality rate within the first year of life to an 80% survival rate after after 20 years. And to, but the arterial switch operation improved even further to a 90% survival rate. And what the arterial switch operation is, is um what they do is they reattach the pulmonary artery to the left ventricle and the aorta to the right ventricle so that it's corrected and the, the arteries pump out the oxygenated blood to the, 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 so that the right ventricle pumps out the oxygenated blood to the, the whole 
Yes, and it's very likely that they will die within uh, if they don't get surgery in the first month of their life. Um, Mr. Reed. Yes, Mr. Nakatsuka, you mentioned that you were looking into the effects of this on, on later life. What what long term effects do we see uh, after corrective surgery, of course? Um, there are some conditions associated with it that um, that you can get from it, like um, from the if you have a muscle procedure done on you, you could have heart rhythm problems, like your heart beats too slowly or too fast, and if it beats too slowly, a pacemaker can speed it up, and if it beats too fast, uh, some you can take medication for it to slow your heart rate down. And with the arterial switch operation, um, you have a risk to you have, are at risk to develop other diseases. Um, Tyler, is it genetic or is it just on the animal? Um, I think it's just from the animal. Thank you, sir.